Hello everybody and welcome back to Kumba Place. Today we are on the Mega Man X collection on the PS4. Um, so today we're going to start off with a little bit of just the original Mega Man X. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time. We have, uh, we, we did a live stream of it on here uh, once before. Um, but uh, those were the old days, back before we had a capture card. And uh, every, I was literally recording um, off of an old CRTV with a webcam just pointed towards it. So it looked and sounded like Dookie. So here we are. We're back at it. Uh, we're playing the original Mega Man X, like I said. Um, man, I, I absolutely love this game. Uh, if you've never played this before, which I doubt that from anybody really like play this game this is one of the greatest side scrollers of all time the whole reason that I love Capcom as much as I do is because of uh, well Mega Man X because I mean you know Capcom's done some great stuff including the Resident Evil series and all that um, but personally Mega Man is kind of just my thing I love me some Mega Man X I uh, love me Mega Man, uh, the original as well. Uh, Super Nintendo also. And, whoop. Oh, 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 I forgot I had to charge up to kill those guys. <laughs> it's been a while. It, you know what? It's been since we did the, uh, the live stream last year. That's how long it's been. But, um, the original Mega Man's great as well. Uh, the Super Nintendo also did have, uh, Mega Man 7, which is off of the... You know, the old school style of uh, Mega Man and not Mega Man X. I mean, pretty big difference between the two, where this one has the wall climbing and dashing and all that fun stuff. Uh, the original one was definitely harder, like the old school style of Mega Man. It's definitely harder than Mega Man X. At least I think it is. It's not as fast paced as Mega Man X, though, so I don't know. Maybe that's the difference. But um, I find Mega Man X to be. Not easy, but easier than the original uh, Mega Man. I think it's easier than Mega Man games. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to actually hear other people's opinion on the matter, because, like I said, I know, ooh, ooh, my opinion, and my opinion is that Mega Man X is a lot easier. But that doesn't mean it's the right opinion, it's just mine, you know? But, uh... I don't know, man. You want some difficulty. Like, play Mega Man. The original Mega Man. It's it's a tough game. Uh, I feel like a lot of people forget how tough it really is. And a lot of people got the reminder when the, um... Oops. When the, uh, Mega Man... Or, sorry. The, uh... The NES Classic came out. And they got to play Mega Man 2. I don't even think Mega Man 1 was on that. I know Mega Man 2 was. And, uh... God! People lost their minds <laughs> trying to beat that game. I had a buddy bring his over to my house, and um, I beat Mega Man 2 in front of him in my, like, one sitting. And, uh, he was pissed, because uh, he didn't do so well at the game himself. So to watch me beat it in one sitting really <laughs> ticked him off. And I get it, man. Hard game. It's not easy. Mega Man 2 is not an easy game. But, um, at that time, I was playing a lot of, uh, NES Mega Man, so I was I was kind of prepped and primed for it, you know. But uh, this this game here, man, this is this is one of the all-time greats. Mega Man X one, two, and three are superb. Um, it kind of goes downhill after that, if I'm being honest. Uh, I've only really played Mega Man X four and five. I've never gone past five. Five was okay four was not great and um from what i hear uh six seven and eight are kind of garbage but who knows maybe we'll play them all i don't know i haven't decided that yet uh so we're gonna go classic can we go straight to chill yeah we're gonna go straight to chill penguin because we gotta get our dash boys we gotta get our dash that's why you gotta go chill penguin first that dash is just like essential for the, the, the rest of the game, really. I mean, you can probably beat the game without Dash. I mean, actually, no, you can't, because they force you to get it. 
in this stage, but I mean, hypothetically, you could probably beat the game without it. I just, I can't imagine how, but I feel like it's possible. This is Capcom, and you can do a lot to break their games, man. They're great games, but there's so much going on in them that it's not hard to, like, break, break everything about them. <laughs> I never really take the time to do that, though. I, I'd rather just play the game. It's like, um, Resident Evil 2 Remake came out. People found ways to skip, like, giant parts of the game and broken zombie AI and all this stuff. And I just, I was like, I, I'm good, man. I'm just gonna... Ooh, this guy. I forgot that he keeps coming back there. Um, I just played it, you know? I didn't bother any of the tricks of Resident Evil 2's remake thought, you know, if I use the tricks, then I won't be good at it, or I wouldn't have all the stuff I need for later on, so I was like, I'm just, oh my god, oh my god, there we go, Jesus Christ, so I figured I should just play the game the way it's meant to be played, and hopefully I can, uh, I'll, I'll be good enough to beat it, and, uh, I was, which, fun fact, the boss of Resident Evil 2, uh, at least the remake, was very easy, which was surprising. Anyway, I'll stop talking about Resident Evil 2 now, because I'm, I'm playing Mega Man X. Um, but, uh, this, like, the Mega Man X games are weird, man, because it's still, you still got Dr. Light, but he's dead. But he's left these upgrades all over the world, which is weird, man. Why didn't you just give him X? Why'd you have to hide them all over the damn place, you know? Strange. The game should have just started with Mega Man having all the powers of the upgrades. But, I guess that, you know gets for the whole advancement that you get in the game, which is a big part of the game. I don't know, I'm just talking around my ass at this point, but come on, Dr. Lice. You could have just made Mega Man more badass, is all I'm really getting at. You could have just made him more badass. Because Mega Man had some of the powers that, uh, that some of the, uh, the bosses have. Oh my god. And I don't mean the gun, because obviously you get the guns by beating them. But I mean, like, the other stuff. Like, they have these like, crazy jumps and armor and all this stuff. Gimp My Ride. That I literally just got a, a, a trophy called Gimp My Ride. That's, um, not something I expected to read today. Oh, yeah. These games would have trophies because it's PlayStation 4. Ooh, didn't even think of that. Huh. I wonder what kind of trophies are actually in this. I did turn this on once uh, before this, and that was to try their, um, they have like a boss rush mode, I guess, where you can, you fight two bosses at once, and I did very, very poorly. Um, mainly because I had to fight a boss from Mega Man X 4 that I did not recognize in any way, shape, or form. So, I didn't really know what his patterns were. And, uh, yeah. It didn't go well. <laughs> it didn't go well at all. I bought him and Chill Penguin here. But again, no idea what to do against the other guy. So I just got just laid out, man. Laid out. Boom! Man, Chill Penguin, you are not you are not a great warrior, my dude. Not a great warrior. Boom. There you go. All right, Chill Penguin's down. In Buster We Trust. I assume that's to beat a boss with the X Buster. Which, yeah, I mean, that means that that's a mandatory trophy. You have to get it because you have to kill somebody to get their weapon to kill somebody else, you know? Either way. I do love this game. And let's see. Now we got the dash. We can go straight to... Now you think, you think, okay, so now you got, you got the ice, which, you know, you use on Spark Mandrill here, but instead, instead, we're going to go over here to uh, Storm Eagle. Uh, this was always the, the, the way I did it in the game. Um, Get Jill Penguin, then Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle, you get an upgrade. You get another heart container. Well, a heart container. 
And, uh, I know you don't have his weapon yet, but Storm Eagle's so easy. You don't, you don't need the weapon that's designed to fight him with. You really don't. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. Ooh. Didn't try that. Man, it's been a long time since one of those guys grabbed me on this ride up. There we go. Get our heart container. Boom! So, there you go. Heart container one. And we got the ice too. Maybe I'll put a little 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 little, little uh thing in the jigs on the side here to indicate what things that we've gotten. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll we will. Maybe we won't. Oh no. No, no, let me up there. I need to get the E-tank! Which I think is up. Yeah, E-Tank's up here, right? Yes, E-Tank. There we go. Alright. Oh, you, you little flame-blowing bastard. Can't remember what's straight down. Otherwise, I would have just jumped for it. Oh. Death. It would have been death. Come on, you. Boom. Yeah, a lot of these uh, platforms you can just dash on the next one. I wouldn't suggest doing it on this guy. A little bit far. Just a little bit far, my dudes. I can't remember what's down here. I, I I feel like it's just health. Is it just health? Or is it a free man? Oh wait, no, I, I don't care about a free man. I was thinking it's the heart container. I'm like, stupid, you already got the heart, heart container in this stage. So what are you doing? What are you doing, my dude? And you come in here and we got upgrade number two. So this upgrade is super important because as much as you might look at this and go, well, it's just a stupid helmet. Um, this, this one is required with the dash boots to unlock the uh, more powerful X-Buster. So you can charge up your, uh, your enemy attack things, your boss, boss weapons. Alright, there you go. We got our cool helmet. Eh, it's not so cool, but we're gonna say it's cool. And you can uh, also dash under these dudes makes that whole thing a lot, lot simpler. Okay. So. Here's some fun, funness for you. Okay. So, if you've played this game before and don't know about this, uh, I'm going to show you something. So, not everybody knows about this. Uh, so, basically, they want you to take the ladder and go into that part of the stage there. But if you just jump off the edge here... Boom. Nice little uh, health pickup. And then you jump in here. And you're into the stage anyway. So you're into the boss fight anyway. So it's a it's a nice little way to uh, touch up your health before the fight actually starts. Yep. Yeah. So this, this is how easy Storm Eagle is. We'll shoot these eggs. Oh, shit. You gotta wait for it. if you shoot right when it hits the ground. You can uh, you can obliterate all those dudes like instantly. Sorry, I gotta I gotta get quiet for my concentration here. <laughs> He is just going egg wild today. Come on now. Boom! There we go. That Storm Eagle. Kaput. 
Storm Eagle done kaput. All right, so um, that's it. So we got two two bosses, two bosses down. We got one heart. We got two upgrades. Like, come on, come on. All right, let's just keep keep rattling these off now. So I can just go fight this dude and get our uh, upgraded um thingamajig. Do we do that now, or should we maybe go down to him? Huh. Tough choices, man. Tough choices. Uh. Eh, let's go to the elephant man here. I forget what his name is. What is his name? Uh. Flame mammoth. Ah. That makes sense. Okay. So, um. Now we got the snow in here. Uh, if you don't beat Chill Penguin before you come here, this is all like lava, which you don't want to mess with, man. Lava mess you up. And um, also, just just because I'm a weirdo, uh, when I want to hold in the uh, the attack button and then dash while I'm going. You, two things you can do you can put your thumb kind of sideways and just kind of hit hit the dash button with the side of your thumb or as I do because I'm a weirdo I literally curl my index finger up like so and I tap it as I'm going like tap tap um, or you can just hit uh, forward twice like that um, either way, stupid, useless information for you. Let's see. Okay, now here's where the gun is. This part is, uh, one of the hardest things to actually do with Mega Man X1 is to get this weapon. Oh, God. I, I, I already know I'm going to screw this up. Because if you don't get it just right... Oh, <laughs> I screwed it up. There you go. See, I screwed it up, so we can't even get it now. Because those blocks, I'm pretty sure, don't come back. I mean, we'll go over and get this heart anyway. And then we'll see if it comes back, but I don't think it comes back. Should be able to change. Oh, good. Yeah, no, those, those don't come back. Alright, so. Damn it. Uh, this is the weapon to use against the boss of this stage. But it also just wrecks these minor dudes. And you don't really need a lot of it. And if you're going up this way anyway, you're going to get a refill, I believe. Uh, nope. Okay. Well, whatever. You can get a refill uh, before going in there. And there is the second E tank. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on now. Rick. Oh, you son of a bitch. He's laughing at me and shit. All right, let's go up this way. I can't believe I screwed that part up with the X-Buster, my dudes. You guys witnessed it, though. I, uh... Oh! <laughs> I jumped right into that one. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm doing really badly right now. Thank God the boss is easy. Because I am doing very poorly at the very moment. Yay, health! Oh. Um, yeah, so this boss is actually extremely easy. <sighs> I'm doing so bad in the actual stage, though. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. Anyway, here's the boss. He's he's ridiculously easy. You just go in, you hit him with the wind a few times. Avoid when he jumps because his fat ass will quake the earth and stop you in your place. He throws some... Uh... There he goes. Exactly. Exactly. 
and he throws some fire. He'll sometimes throw some, uh, whoop. There we go. Ooh, there. Either way, doesn't matter. Take a few hits. See how easy it kicks his ass. It, it does a ton of damage to him, so he's not really much of a threat. But now, I have to now go back into the stage and try to get that gun again. So, uh, I'm going to collect my weapon here, and I'm going to go right back in, and we're going to try that again. So, uh, hang tight. We'll be right back. Okay, now we're back at this bitch. Let's see if we can do it this time. Oh, come on. Uh, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this today. I've never had this hard of a time since I was a little kid. Fucking excuse me? What? Why can't I just like I just can't reach it now? It's like there we go. Jesus Christ! My God, that was that was way harder than it should ever have been. <laughs> I've really lost my touch with this. My God, I've lost my touch. All right, let's let's hop in here. Let's see. All right. Okay. Boom. So now you get your super powerful attack here, which is in uh, pink because it was the early 90s and pink was cool. Uh, I mean, my p personal opinion, it is still cool, but uh, you know, not everybody agrees with that. Anyway, we're going to exit, and then we're, uh, we're going to save it here. So uh, then, um, we, uh, yeah. now we are off to Spark Mandrill. I guess. Yeah, okay, we gotta go with Spark Mandrill because we can't fight uh, Armored Armadillo without Spark Mandrill's weapon. I mean, you can, but my god, is he hard with the X Buster. If you wanna take on Armored Armadillo with the X Buster, you go right the hell ahead. I won't be following you, man. You, you, you have fun with that shit because it is not easy. Uh, also, Something I never did as a kid. I, uh, I never really... Oh, wait. Yeah, I can't get that yet. Something I never really did as a kid, uh, which was, uh, use the, um, boss weapons mid-stage like this. Uh, as an adult, I've realized how much easier the freaking game is when you do this. And, uh, I don't really understand my own reasons for not doing it in the past, you know? It's just a uh, stupid, stupid me, I guess. Anyway. Boom. All right, now it's going to be very effective against this guy here, too. Very effective against this guy. Because not only does it hurt him a lot, but it gets rid of these bubbles on the ground. And that just, yeah, I mean, he becomes ridiculously easy when you have that weapon. All right. Got the fire. Fire's good for here. I mean, it's not needed, but uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy using the fire here. Just wrecks those guys nice and easy. All right. Pop up here, get him. Oh, hell yeah. Man, um, I forgot how good it wrecks those turtles. Oh, come on, I just got up there. I just got up there. There, okay, there we go, my god. My god. All right. Whoop, whoop. Man, the fire wrecks those dudes. I had no idea. I always used to, uh, I always used wind against them. But I'm realizing now that fire might be a better uh, weapon choice. Boom! Alright. So, uh, Spark Mandrill might be the 
easiest boss in this game. I mean, as long as you have the ice, the ice shot here just just absolutely destroys this dude. He lights up like Christmas, as you can see there. And you just fire away immediately. Boom. Ooh. And as soon as he breaks it, if you time it just right, you can just keep freezing him. It's like a one, boom, two, boom, three, boom, four, whoop. There you go. So easy. So easy. Um, which is a shame, too. He's like one of the coolest bad guys in the game, but he is... Un he is underwhelming, man. Once you have that ice shot, he is not a threat. <laughs> he's not a threat in any way, shape, or form. But uh, he's cool. He's he's got a cool design. He's got cool attacks, all that stuff. But you don't really get to enjoy it much, because you know he's easy as hell to kill. All right, and we're off to Armored Armadillo, which is like by far one of the funnest stages in the game. This is also where you get the uh, Heideken. Heideken? Hi, Hidukin? Hidukin. Hidukin? This is where you get the Hidukin. Because, you know, it's a Capcom game, so therefore it has to have the Hidukin in it, apparently. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And time it right. Ooh. Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> if you time that right, ooh, sometimes it'll, uh, it'll set you flying right through here. If you're really precise, it'll make you land right in front of this bird here. Uh, without hitting anything, which I've done before. Uh, truth be told, though, not the easiest. Definitely not the easiest. Alright, so let's let this guy come after us. And... Just kill his ass. There we go. Alright, you go back here to get your E-Tank. E tank uh, to refill our health, which. Boom. Don't know why I'm still using that. Anyway, um, I, I stopped talking because I, I get so into this game that I forget that I'm doing a, a video here and I just focus on playing it. So I'm trying not to shut up too much. I'm trying to just talk and give the info I do know about this game. But I gotta say, it always takes me back. Every time I play Mega Man X, it takes me back. Um, growing up, uh, playing this at my buddy's house. Uh, Evan. Uh, Evan, Evan was, a, was, a, was a good dude. We used to hang out at Evan's place. And uh, play this. And well, several other games that like me and my other buddies didn't know. Like, Mega Man X was one. It was really the only chance I had to play it growing up was there. Or I would rent the living hell out of uh, Mega Man X3. I rented that one all the time. And I'll, I don't know why I'm in, like, fill E-Tank mode. I probably don't need to be in that mode right now. So let's just get back to playing the freaking game. Woo! There you go. See, you get a nice jump like that and you just boom! Man, that fire wrecks his day. I love it. I love it. So good. Another heart. Oh, baby. We are cooking with gas now. All right. Whoop. Okay. Okay. All right. So, here's the spot where you get the Hadouken. Uh, it takes a little bit of um, practice and whatnot. Because it's not the easiest thing to actually get, but um, we're not going to get that today. Maybe, uh, maybe in like episode two or three or something. I don't know. I I don't know. I just know that right now I'm not I'm not going through the time to do that. And honestly, I can't even remember the steps. It's been so long since I got the Hadouken. It's it's pretty badass though, because it'll just kill Sigma in one hit. I mean, you can't ask for anything cooler than that. And. Watch this, watch this. Jump it. Fire, jump. Fire, jump. Fire, jump. Fire, jump. Fire, fire, jump. Fire, jump. Fire, jump. Fire, jump. It's, it's... I'm telling you, man. If you get the patterns down, 
this stuff becomes really easy. And he's a fire jump guy. Or he'll spin into his little thing and he needs to avoid him. And once he lands, fire jump. Fire jump. It's uh, super simple, man. Super simple. Let's uh, ooh, 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 save it. I don't know if we're going to end this. Eh, we'll, we'll do a little bit more. Maybe we'll get rid of all these guys and then we'll do the rest of it for episode two. Because, uh, I mean, it doesn't take too long to rip through the rest of these guys. Uh, so, wait, what weapon did I just get? <laughs> I forget. I forget. Uh, um, oh, yeah, the, 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 rolling, the rolling ball thing. All right, so the rolling balls, that needs to go to this guy, and then he gives you the torpedoes, you use a boomerang uh, coinger, and then you use his boomerangs to get the chameleon. So, this is the next place to go. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Launch Octopus, that's his name. What a stupid name, Launch. Ah, I mean, that was also a character's name, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that shows good. Maybe I'll be more forgiving of the name Launch. Just for today. And... This stage is quite interesting, actually, because... I mean... Not only do you got these friggin' seahorse things jumping around, but then you gotta fight... Oh, shit. You gotta fight these, uh... These dudes up here with the spike traps and no joke oh well, this one doesn't have a spike trap well, I'm telling you right now um, this dude can mess you up uh, wait 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 there we go so there okay there we go all right all right so you can use that on him which does a lot of damage Okay, we'll get that filled up. Right, good. Those guys will swallow you whole, so you gotta watch out for them. Uh oh, 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 oh. And they'll just, oh my god, I've never been swarmed like that in this section before. Holy shit. I have never been swarmed like that. Oh shit. Oh, now something. Oh no! Oh, God, Woo. something to look out for in uh, in this uh, this little mini boss battle is the fact that the uh, the spikes will kill you in one hit. So you know, avoid them like the fucking plague that they are. Avoid at all costs. <laughs> avoid those. Avoid those spikes. Jesus Christ! I almost died. Right there. I've probably died more at him than I ever have at the boss of this level, though, if I'm being honest with you. Um, because you slip into those spikes so friggin' easily. There we go. Ooh. And you're just gonna take out this ship. This is something that you're definitely gonna want to do when you play this section. Take out... Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Alright, come on, you. Come on, come on. I've never had this ship take so many hits. I don't know if they changed that for this collection or something, but... Holy shit, I have never witnessed that take so many, uh, so many attacks. Anyway, what you're gonna want to do, ride this guy down. Come down here. And inside here, if you have this, uh... This shit equipped, this guy becomes quick work. Okay, where's he at? Jump up here. Boom! Just woof, don't land in the spikes like I almost just did. There we go. And now you get your next heart, baby! There you go. See? I know where everything is in this game. I just gotta remember and take my time at certain points because I might die if I don't. Alright, now you gotta fight another one of these dudes. Serpent. Now again, just keep this equipped, right? As soon as he comes out, just jump on him. Jump him again. Bam! See how easy that is, man? It, like, you know, if you know what to expect, you got the right weapon lined up, this shit becomes really easy. So 
let's keep this equipped because it makes light work out of those two. And then you're right in here. Bam! We're at the boss, boys! Alright. This is the worst weapon in the game, by the way. Worst weapon in the game. Um, it, it's, it's pretty much useless. Uh, unless you want to put, like, a shield over yourself. There we go. Nope, nope. Oh my god. Alright, let's get him. Let's get him. Oop, boop. Greg. Alright, we got him. We got him, though. Um, oh god. He's probably the hardest boss of the, uh, like, the first eight. He's probably the hardest one just because he, he's really hard. To, it, it's hard to get his pattern down because his pattern's not really much of a pattern. He has several attacks and he just kind of goes all over the freaking place. Uh, when his health gets low, he'll do that spinning cyclone thing a lot. But that one's... I mean, it's not really dangerous. You just dash and you're out of the way. Alright, so on to Boomerang Kawanger. Uh, which, this is a awesome stage. This, uh... I feel like this... I mean, I might be wrong here, but I feel like this stage is, um... Paying tribute to Snake, Snake Man. Is it Snake Man? I think it's Snake Man stage. In uh, I I think I think it was Mega Man two or three of the original series. But like, oh yeah, uh, it because it, it looks like it kind of looks a bit like Snake Man's lair, and uh, it's got the whole like you know moving up rather than to the side. Which doesn't really happen in a lot of Mega Man stages. Um, but it does happen in this and Snake Man's. Alright, so if you hit any of these little red beams, these dudes shoot at you. See? There you go. Alright. Uh, there we go. Cool! Boom! Man, I'm so happy to know now that this fire does so much damage on these guys. Because I was using the wind, uh, which definitely takes longer. This one's way more effective against them. Didn't know that before. Alright, so this part is not that hard. But it can be, because it does t get to go pretty quick here. And uh, those spikes, again you die instantly which is funny because like Mega Man is such a badass Mega Man X is even more of a badass but somehow somehow um just a little spike kills him which tells me if Mega Man was hanging out at your house and I mean you dropped a thumbtack and he stepped on it he's going to instantly die that's what that says to me maybe I'm looking too much into it but it feels that way it feels that way I feel like Mega Man would die stepping on a thumbtack. Yes, I do believe that. All right. Anyway, this music is badass. That won't, that much you can definitely agree with me on. And I know what you're thinking. Of course it's badass. It's Mega Man music. You, sir, would be right. Don't know why I'm still using the wind, but I'm having fun doing it. And you gotta come... This part's annoying, because you actually have to beat the stage and then come back to get this heart. Uh, there's no way to get it without that. Uh, you actually have to... Um, you actually have to beat the stage first, because you need the boomerang to get the freaking thing. Which, again, annoys me. Again, it's probably only annoying to me, because I've never heard anybody complain about it. But it definitely annoys me. Damn it. I'm taking a lot of damage this go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, am I ever taking a lot of damage? I never usually take this much damage playing this game, but I'm taking it today. 
Lord knows I'm taking lots of damage today. Alright. This is not something I normally do. But I am actually going to use an E... Oh, my, all my E-Tanks are full anyway. Nice. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me use my E-Tanks! Jesus Christ, that was just not working for some reason. That was weird. That was very strange. Either way, uh, Boomerang Coiner is uh, easy, buddy. He can be um, he can be a little weird. Sometimes he goes like he just goes off the rails, and he's it's hard to hard to hit him. But you just want to climb up and shoot. And you can do this. You can jump back and forth. Just always have at least one missile going. And you'll basically always hit him. And that's it. He's very easy. But uh, I've gone in with low health thinking, well, it's not like I'm going to take damage. And then I get stuck up in the corner and he gets me. So I wasn't risking that there. I would rather just use my E-Tank because they're going to get filled back up anyway, man. Might as well just use them. It's another thing that I did as a kid playing this game all the time. I would just never use my E-Tanks until I was at Sigma. Which is a really stupid way to play the game. But I always did it. I just feel, you know, I don't need to do that. So, yeah. Fun stuff. Alright, so. Now that we're done there, we can go back in and we can get the heart. So I'm not going to let you... I'm not going to make you guys watch that. So I'm just going to grab it real quick. Okay, here we go. And... Boom. Another heart. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to exit. And uh, now we got to kill... I forget, I forget who we're going to go kill. But we're going to go kill a man. Or a, a, a robot. We're going to go kill something, I think. Oh, we only got one person left, which is this guy. So might as well just... We'll take care of this, and then we'll, we'll end the episode after he's... After he has been finished. All right? I think that's... I mean, that... You know, we don't want these to be too long. So... We will, uh, we will get rid of the chameleon. We don't need that dude around anyway. Oh shit. And... God damn it. There we go. Oh wait, I didn't need that. I didn't need that at all. Alright, so down here, I'm gonna dash over and get the heart. So what you're gonna wanna do here, because you can't just do it if you dash jump off of this, you're gonna wanna grab on the side and then do it. Way better. Way, 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 way better. And then you're gonna wanna come over here. And up here. You can just use your X-Buster against this guy. Um, I, I feel like something hurts him more. I think it might be the ice. I don't remember 100%. We'll try the ice. But either way, you gotta shoot him in his red eye. Because uh, otherwise... Otherwise, uh, it just doesn't hurt him. Like, if you uh, if you shoot him in his, uh, in his knucks there, it does zero damage. Whoop. And if he grabs you, he will do a lot of damage. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, my dudes. Alright, maybe maybe this isn't maybe this isn't the weapon that hurts him a lot. Because he should be smoking by now if it was. Uh let's see. Is it these? I don't think it's these either. I mean, he's already smoking though. Maybe it is those. Ah, uh, no, it's 
not those. It might be the uh, the weapon that you're supposed to use to beat the boss here. Which, if that's the case, then I, it ain't gonna happen. Maybe it is these. I feel like this is doing a lot of damage to him. He's, he's smoke. Oh my god, is he ever smoking a lot faster now? Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is... I think this is how you get him. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. If anybody watching this knows what is this guy's weak against, you let me know. Definitely in fire. Okay, maybe it is. I don't know. It, I, I doubt it though. I, I highly doubt that it's the fire because it's not easy to get to. Maybe it is. You know what? It's the wind. I just remembered. That's the best weapon. Use the wind. Use the wind tunnel. I completely forgot. Anyway. Besides the point, we got our full armor. There we go, first armor. Look at that. We got all of our armor. Full, full, full Mega Man X armor is in effect right now. Okay, these guys, as long as you have the upgraded uh, X Buster, you can kill them in one shot. Just hold it until it's pink. Boom, wait for them to open. Easily wreck them. So easily wreck them. Oh, that was weird. Probably because I was too close to him, I guess. Oh, I didn't even see him there. <laughs> There's one. There we go. And... and I'll get the free man, though. Whatever, whatever. Didn't need it, but I'll get it. very difficult if you don't know the pattern I'm gonna show you the pattern because it is very easy it's basically a left right left right left right you just always have to shoot up with the boomerang because if you hold it up it will spin up rather than spin down so you're just gonna wanna fire right away and then up and then this way 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 and then this way. I think you got the pattern down. Am I wrong? You got it? Very easy. Very easy stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, that's all the eight Mavericks uh, downed. And uh, next run to the Sigma stages. So uh, I just figured I'd take care of all these guys in the first episode. And then the uh, next episode will take care of Sigma stages. So uh, yeah, that's it, man. That's that's it. We got, we got all our stuffs. And um, then we'll uh, start the rest of this power trip. Well, first we'll watch our little cinematic, because this is what cinematics used to look like. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Don't know how you missed it. It's huge. Let's go in uh, and let's go in and put an end to this war against the humans. You got it, Zero, my dude, my red dude with the long hair and the cool sword. Anyway, guys, um, that's all I got for today's episode. If you like uh, what I do here, hit subscribe, hit like, share this with your buddies, all that fun stuff. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next episode.